Are you interested in learning more about the Uniform Data System, UDS Performance Reporting? Well, you have come to the right place. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the UDS 101 Overview. In this video, we will cover the following information. The importance of the UDS reporting, EHB functionality needed for accessing the UDS report, and we will briefly navigate the section and tables within the report. Our goal is to provide you with a basic understanding of the reporting and its importance to BIPIC's mission to improve the health of the nation's underserved communities and vulnerable populations by assuring access to comprehensive, culturally competent, quality primary health care services. So what is UDS? The UDS is a standardized set of data reported by health centers each year. It contains a core set of information, including patient demographics, services provided, clinical processes and outcomes, staffing, patients' use of services, costs, and revenues appropriate for documenting the operation and performance of health centers. UDS data is used to ensure compliance with Section 330 of the Public Health Service, PHS, Act legislative mandates, and report program accomplishments. To give you an idea about how much data is collected in each individual UDS report, there are more than 900 data fields collected across 12 structured forms, with over 2,500 quantitative and qualitative validations and edit checks to ensure data quality. Every year between January 1 and February 15, Health Center Program grantees and lookalikes report their data based on the measures defined in the UDS manual. This manual describes the annual UDS reporting requirements for all Health Center Program grantees that receive federal award funds and Health Center Program lookalikes that must meet the Health Center Program requirements for designation and can be accessed from the Uniform Data System UDS Resources page, https colon forward slash forward slash bipic.hrsa.gov forward slash data reporting forward slash reporting. Once all UDS data has been reviewed, validated, and approved, there are more than 2,200 analytical measures that will then be computed at the national, state, and grantee level. To see the previous year's national, state, and grantee data, you can visit the Health Center Data section of the BIPIC website. This may be your first time working on a UDS report within the electronic handbook, EHB. So to get you started, let's go over the required EHB privileges and how to access the UDS report. To work on the UDS performance report in the EHB, you must have the following. An EHB account that is registered to the organization you work for, been granted access to Health Center Program Grant or Lookalike designation, and you will need to be provided with one of the following EHB Performance Report privileges. The View privilege will allow you to view in progress and submitted UDS performance reports in a read-only format. The Edit privilege will allow you to edit UDS performance reports that have not been submitted to HRSA and the deadline has not passed. The submit privilege will allow you to submit a completed UDS performance report to HRSA. If you do not have the appropriate privileges to view, edit, or submit the UDS performance report, reach out to your project director associated with the grant or designation to obtain privileges. Or you can watch this cool video to find out how to request performance report privileges within the EHB. You can find this video called How to Access Your Performance Reports on your EHB homepage in the Help widget. If you are the project director and don't have the appropriate privileges to access the UDS report, contact the BIPIC helpline at 1-877-974-2742. Now that we have covered the privileges, let's go over how to access the UDS performance report. For grantees and lookalikes, the UDS report can be easily accessed from the Tasks tab. So, if you have the appropriate privileges and the UDS performance report has been made available in the EHB, once you are logged in, click on the Tasks tab using the navigation menu at the top of the page, and you will see the UDS performance report within the list of tasks. UDS reports are generally broken down into several sections. Many of these sections reflect distinct tables you will find in the report. The Contact Information section captures information such as the UDS Point of Contact,
project director, and CEO contact information. Next is the patient's zip code section, where all health centers must report the number of patients served by zip code. This information enables HRSA to better identify areas served by health centers and identify potential service area overlap. On Table 3A, you will report the age and sex at birth of patients served by the health center. It provides a picture of the demographics of those receiving services. Next is Table 3B. Here you will display the race and ethnicity of the patient population in a matrix format. This permits the reporting of the racial identification of all patients, including those who identify with the Hispanic Latino population. Let's jump over to Table 4, where you will enter descriptive data on selected characteristics of health center patients, such as health center income and third-party medical insurance information. To provide a profile on health center staff, the number of visits and the number of patients served is reported on Table 5. To better assess workforce needs and improve efforts for workforce development and retention, Table 5A highlights information on the tenure of health center providers and key management staff who are employed or committed on the last day of the year. Now we move on to the clinical data. On Table 6A are two sets of data, selected diagnoses such as asthma and hypertension and selected services rendered, such as HIV test, mammogram, and pap test. It is designed to provide the number of visits and patients your health center has provided for specific diagnoses and services. Table 6B and Table 7 make up 16 measures that we consider the UDS clinical quality measures. We have made great strides in aligning these measures with the centers of Medicare and Medicaid E-specified measures, where the majority are aligned. So let's describe Table 6B. This table houses selected quality of care measures, like weight assessment and counseling for nutrition, and physical activity for children and adolescents. The remainder of the clinical quality measures rest in Table 7. Here, measures like low birth weight and controlling high blood pressure by race and ethnicity can be found. What makes these measures particularly unique is that they are broken down by race and ethnicity. Therefore, health disparities can be uncovered. The last set of tables focuses on financial matters. Table 8A highlights the total cost of all activities that are within the scope of the project. Then there is Table 9D that provides information on charges, collections, supplemental payments, contractual allowances, self-paying sliding discounts, and self-pay bad debt write-off. Now on Table 9E, information on non-patient income received during the reporting period for the Health Center Program grant or the Lookalike Program can be found. The HIT Capabilities section collects data that relates to the use of health information technology. And the last section welcomes comments in the Report Comments section. This area is dedicated to share information of respective UDS reviewers. Once you have entered your data and validated your tables, run the Data Audit Report. If the Data Audit Report finds any issues with the data you have entered, it will be listed here for you to correct. As you know, Clean and complete data is key. So before submitting your UDS report to HRSA, navigate to the review section to do a final review of the data you've entered. Once all sections are complete, you can now submit to HRSA. Wow, that was a lot of information to process. <laughs> Today we went over the importance of the UDS report, what it is, what the sections are, and some basic EHB functionality needed for accessing the report. If you're new to UDS reporting or just need a refresher on the process and functionality, please access the EHB help pages at https colon forward slash forward slash help .gov forward slash x forward slash d a c e a q. HRSA offers manuals, webinars, and trainings to assist health centers in collecting and submitting their data on the UDS resources page https colon forward slash forward slash bipic.hrsa.gov forward slash data reporting forward slash reporting. If you're working on the UDS report and need some assistance with UDS content, you can contact the UDS help by email 
at udshelp330 at bipicdata.net. Or you can call them toll free at 1 866 837 4357. If you are experiencing some technical issues with your UDS report in the EHB, contact the BIPIC helpline at 1 877 974 2742. If you have EHB account related questions, contact the HRSA Contact Center at 1 877 464 4772.